was a chef chef. He's a legend. He had a reputation of just technically brilliant. He stayed on course, like his, his food was pure, he was honest, he didn't care about all that other stuff. I think I really miss that. Cooking awful, but with elegance. It was always really, really tasty. That was his food. And Jez was that guy that would call you, and whenever he did, amazing things would happen. He was the guy, uh if I'd lost chef's hats or awards or something went wrong, he's the guy who picked you up and was like, mate, dust yourself off, we've, we've all done it. So he was just a really beautiful, caring gentleman. And they say the chef's chef, he was, he was, he was, he was, he was good. He was the one that sort of started trends and people just loved him for that. I think the secret to Jeremy's success was just cooking what he loved to cook and cooking what he thought was delicious. The simplest food is the hardest to do. Jeremy was, you know, he was a unique individual. You know, he, he loved his staff, he loved his friends, uh, he loved his family. He was a complex cat, he really was. But he was brilliant in, in the simplicity of, of the way he put food on the plate. We would just not stop talking, mind just racing all the time. The creativity just totally amped up. Family was so important to Jeremy. Once you're in, that's it. You're in forever, whether you work for us or whatever happens, you're, you're part of it, our family. And he was just like, this is the most unpretentious, lovely, warm chap. That was my first memory of him. He's opened up, like, the doors for so many young guys to talk. He's just a really cool, awesome guy that I had so much respect for. Jez just allowed the food to breathe. Like Chanel, you know, like you get dressed, you put everything on and then you just take one thing off. Just to let it breathe. Oh, just, I just loved his food. Yeah, yep, I just loved his food.